thank you everyone for joining me today. My name is Michael Smith. I'm the National Consumer Education Manager of Janome Canada. And yes, I'm back for another Janome's Magical Machine Mystery Tour. So what will I be talking about today? Well, let's flip this camera around. But before I do actually, you know, uh, maybe you've seen the clue on the Janome HQ Instagram page. And then, you know, I've sometimes said uh, that I feel like the lady from Romper Room, you know, where I see, oh, I see Linda and, you know, I see Linda. Well, here's your other clue again to really uh, pay homage to the Romper Room lady with her big mirror. So this is part of our clue today. Uh, you know, for Janome's Magical Machine Mystery Tour, I've definitely been showing a lot of machines in the Janome line, but also a lot of uh, partner products that we have to help you get the most from your machine to make your sewing, you know, quicker and easier. And then we have uh, also some cool software products as well and some accessories that I also have gone through through uh, just again to help you get uh, the most from your machine. So this is part of our clue today. <laughs> and yes, uh, so our Magical Machine Mystery Tour presentation. Ooh, let me spin this around without revealing too much. Oh, you know, I always have so much. <gasps> there, <laughs> our fabulous Janome Magical Machine Mystery Tour is not going to be an actual machine per se, but it is, ooh, the fabulous Janome AccuFill quilting. Oh, and I see my microphone fell. Oh boy. Technical difficulties already today. Oh my. Let me just get clipped back in here. Sorry for the audio <laughs> uh, there. So yes, our um, focus today is on the AccuFill quilting software. So that helps you turn your embroidery machine into a quilting machine. So again, it's another of these fabulous Janome innovations. So this AccuFill quilting software comes available in a couple of different ways. Here, this cute little kit is for your embroidery only machines like the Memorycraft 550E and the Memorycraft 500E and the 450E and the 400E. So all those standalone embroidery machines, this kit will be for you. Now the AccuFill quilting also comes in a kit for the Memorycraft 12,000. So if you have a 12,000, there is a AccuFill quilting kit that comes with everything you need to, again, help you convert your embroidery machine to a quilting machine. Uh, also, on the Memorycraft 12,000, uh, we still have workbooks in our warehouse, uh, by the way. So if you have a uh, 12,000, or again, if you've uh, recently, uh, recently purchased one on the secondary market, we do have the Memorycraft 12,000 workbook still available in our Genome Canada warehouse. So you can get those as well. So what the AccuFill quilting system is, where again, we're quilting, ooh, now maybe this, I purposely did this more tone on tone. So again, you really see that texture. You don't see the design as much on this busy uh, printed fabric, but again, ooh, maybe you can see with the light that texture. So we are quilting through all layers. So here's my quilt top, there's my batting, there is my backing, and then there maybe you'll see I've got a lighter color here in the bobbin, so you'll see that quilting a little bit better. So we are quilting through all layers in the embroidery hoop. So we're really making the most of our embroidery machine. Now the cool thing is with your fabulous uh, little kit here, again, if you have the memory craft of 550E, 500E, 450E, uh, 400E, uh, everything is included in this kit, again, available from your fabulous Janome dealer. Now, everything, again, Janome is so thorough. So here's an instructional DVD. So yes, you're gonna put this in your Windows-based computer. So if you don't have a uh, Windows computer, if you're a Mac owner, you can either partition your hard drive, so then you can run Windows in addition to your Mac, or many of our Mac owners tell us they get an inexpensive laptop, it's often like reconditioned, doesn't have to be very expensive, uh, and they, they use it just to run these window-based uh, CDs. So there's the instructions, and then there's an actual 
CD with the software that you will install in your computer. Now, if you have a new computer as I do, uh, the laptops in particular, they don't have the uh, CD drives anymore. So I purchased a, um, again, very inexpensive uh, external CD reader. So then I was able to load the software in to my computer that way. So again, full instructions here. I printed them out. They're all going to be on your computer. You don't have to print it out, but uh, then full instructions. And then again, oh yes, there's a list of all the compatible machines, even some of our Elna machines that are equivalent. Or again, the uh, Genome America had the MemoryCraft 14,000. Uh, Genome Canada did not have that model, but again, lots of machines that are compatible to use this AccuFill quilting software. And again, full instructions all here to show you how to do it. So again, no guesswork whatsoever. Now I did a video on the Genomi HQ YouTube channel. It's under the playlist of Facebook Lives because uh, for Genomi America on their Genomi sewing machines Facebook page, I did a presentation of AccuFill quilting. Oh, again, way back last year, uh, when we first started uh, all of these lives, and it's all about AccuFill quilting, uh, an overview. So it's about an hour long presentation. So you can go to the Genomi HQ YouTube channel to review. It's on the Facebook Live uh, playlist, and then you can go back and review that full presentation there. Oh, Sandra Mugman. Oh, Sylvia. Hello. Hello. Great to see you. So the secret for your AccuFill quilting for your, again, dedicated only embroidery machines, this is your special AccuFill quilting hoop. And you'll see this is how it attaches to the machine for, again, MemoryCraft uh, 550E, 500E, and so on. But this hoop, it's got major, like, ooh, strong magnets, eight magnets. You'll see the magnetic strip here around your hoop and this very cool hard acrylic template. So this, this gridded template. So this is your AccuFill quilting hoop. It's very different than, ooh, I'll remove this now. <laughs> so much on my table, oh my goodness. Uh, it's very different. This is your traditional embroidery hoop, you know, that is, we have the, the inner hoop here and then here, this is your outer hoop. And again, right now I just have some stabilizer in it. And then they've got the soft uh, templates here, the soft grid. So this is our traditional embroidery hoop. But you know, if we're going to try to quilt through all layers, by the time I put my batting in between this and my fabric and all that, this gets very bulky and it's very hard to hoop with the traditional hoops. So this is where Janome in their amazing innovation created this AccuFill quilting hoop with these magnets. So there's no inner hoop. This is just a template to help you hoop your fabric and place your design and then you're going to remove it. So this is your hoop and then again these magnets are what's going to help hold all your layers together. So here on my Memory Craft 15,000 quilt maker Ooh, yes, look at all that. Oh, and there you, with my custom screensaver there that you can do. Uh, so yes, on my MemoryCraft 15,000 quilt maker that we can do AccuFill quilting. It's built in, the software already comes with the machine through Horizon Link Suite, which is also a computer uh, software program that you put on your laptop. And then we can create our own original uh, designs. They, the programs come with over a hundred quilting designs in them and then you can uh, combine them and make really fabulous, ooh, all over quilting. For example, oh, do you see, I'll zoom in, for example, we can do blocks like this beautiful block, whatever size we want. So isn't that cute? Or here with that butterfly, isn't that gorgeous? Or, you know, through the AccuFill quilting software, look at this big rope, or this is like a vine, but they've also got like some braided rope uh, templates in there. So we can create this border design, or if we wanted to, like in this sashing here, we could do a separate quilting design through there. 
and then through the bulk of the quilt all in here do you see all the stippling so you don't have to worry about oh you're not that good with free motion quilting you're not that good with free motion quilting uh, with stippling they've got built-in stippling designs you just type in the size of your quilting area and it does all the calculations for you it's a lot like you know the the software we have for our big fancy expensive long arm quilting machines but now we're using our embroidery machines to do all this quilting so again the AccuFill quilting software will do all this again not only the calculations for you but then uh, again it's all quilting in the hoop so how beautiful is that so again you can do lots of there's more of that uh, vine down the border so again there's a lot of things you can do with this fabulous software now again here's some other ooh, uh, designs with our accu stitch software you know janome's got a lot of software options out there available so this accu stitch software is very fun so we can uh, now stitch in a circle automatically and then again you'll see ooh on the back of my quilt here so i quilted through all layers so i used my accu fill quilting hoop for my quilt top, my batting, and my backing. So there, everything is quilted all easily, and all I did was quickly unclamp my magnets and move my piece along. It is so quick, so easy. Now, in addition to actually quilting quilts, how about this I thought was ingenious? And our former Janome educator, Linda Pedzmecki, who is now a Janome dealer at the Sewing Cafe in Georgetown, Ontario, uh, Linda created this. It is so cool. She used AccuFill quilting stippling to quilt all of her layers together. She's got like this polar fleece inside, so there's no batting. There's just this polar fleece on one side and then this uh, flannelly check on the outside. And she quilted those layers together with this stippling that's built into AccuFill quilting. Then she cut out her pattern and pieced it together normally. So you'll see her construction right here. So again, that you uh, quilt your fabric first, then you can cut it all out, make tote bags, or again, how about this cool, this is perfect now as we're getting into fall, so you can quilt your own fabric and then cut it all up as your pattern dictates and make uh, garments out of it or tote bags, and again, how simple, how quick and easy that is, that you can totally customize it however you wish. Or again, some more, ooh, beautiful AccuFill quilting. These are some of the designs built into the software. Now, the fun thing about it is you can use the design. These are some of the stippling designs where it's got this border all around. So again, there's no need to like stitch in the ditch. The border uh, is stitches automatically. Then the stippling is all stitched around the design and then the design in the middle. So this is one option. Another option is to stitch the same design with just the stippling and the design. You don't need this stitch in the ditch here. Or another, or another option is just the design in the middle. So no stippling and no border around it. So there's one design technically, but you can use it three different ways. So isn't that fun? So again, full instructions included with your kit. Again, review the video I did on the Genome HQ YouTube channel under the Facebook Live playlist of AccuFill quilting. It's uh, about an hour, an hour and a half, something. It was a long presentation. Uh, and it just scratches the surface of what you can do with AccuFill quilting, but it's so fun. So again, it's not even just all quilts. How about this, you know, cute uh, quilted pillow? So isn't that beautiful? So, so many things you can do with it. So what I would like to show you all, ooh, is again, so many things on my table, is briefly the software that you will use and again you'll load it into your laptop it does need to be windows based uh, so then um, if we have a memory craft 15,000 or 12,000 we'll use horizon link and horizon link suite if we have a memory craft uh, 550e 500e 450e we'll use the little cd called accu tools so then that will AccuFill tools, and then it will have the same software on it. Oh, Tanya is here. Hello. 
It is great to see you. So in Horizon Link Suite, again, for those Memory Craft 15,000 owners, uh, we have the Horizon Link Suite. We have all these different categories in this software, all of which, by the way, I described in uh, blogs on the Genome Life blog. So that's another good resource to find out more about AccuFill quilting. Check out the Genome Life blog. So here for our AccuFill tools, now, regardless of which machine you have, it's the same software. So we can go in here and we can see, I'll go up here to, oh, for example, design collection. And look, those are all just stippling designs. Can you believe that? So all of that stippling, again, you just put in the dimensions you would like and the software calculates how uh, all that stippling can be filled for that area so you don't have to do all the math so isn't that great look at all these quilting designs so as i mentioned like here are some like rope designs that you can piece all together put them all together and then they will stitch uh, you again put them in like a sashing or a border there's that leaf that was used in the border of the quilt that i showed and you just repeat it over and over again they even have like some corner pieces, for example, there's like for the rope, uh, some corner pieces. So great for a border or the individual block, you know, like those feathers. I wish I could do feathers, free motion quilting, that beautiful. But as I'm learning and I am still trying and I'm still learning, but you know, until I'm, I'm really comfortable, isn't it great we could use like the AccuFill quilting software to cheat a little <laughs> so we can do those beautiful heirloom feathers in the software with our embroidery machine. Now here are those stippling designs. So as I mentioned, we can use the design that has the border around it to do like our stitch in the ditch, uh, the stippling behind it, and then the design uh, itself in the middle. So we can use that three different ways. So it's like having more designs. Again, there's over a hundred built into the software, but that really helps uh, increase them uh, even more. So here are some stippling parts and pieces so if you have like an applique for example and you want to fill in around it but you don't want to do that again free motion uh, you know stippling or anything you can just plop in some of these oh like these pebbles for example you could just plop in some pebbles wherever you want or some of these waves you can ultimately connect them together uh, uh, oh sure well, it is great to see you as they say better late than never welcome so yeah, there's a lot of things that you can do. So again, there's all your designs included there in your software. And then when we go in again, very briefly that we can type in, oh, the size, I'll type in 8.5. Now our AccuFill quilting hoop for the Memorycraft 15,000 is about 8.72, I believe, inches. Whereas the AccuFill quilting hoop for the 550E, 500E, 450E, and so on is 7.2 inches. So that uh, square, so that gives you a nice good size. So once we create, okay, here's our little square, but you'll notice the software, very easy to maneuver because again, the only thing I can select is this uh, arrow that says next. So again, it, it walks you through everything and the wonderful thing on all Janome software, this little question mark, ooh, way up here, the question mark in blue, that's all your built-in help files uh, of all Janome software. So it guides you through everything. So again, very quickly, you can go back to review that uh, Facebook Live to see the full uh, presentation. But then when we go into our design folder and we select again our AccuFill quilting um, designs, that's the stippling, the quilting designs, separate stippling designs and stippling parts. I'm just going to select, oh, look at all of these, so beautiful. And again, these are the fun ones, where the really fun ones, uh, like here, for example, there's the, the border, the stippling, the design, there's the stippling and the design, and here's just the design. So I'm going to select the butterfly here, and then boom, and then now, just like a lot of our 
editing software that is built into your embroidery machine. But by this way, by using your computer, you don't have to stay tethered to the machine. You could be, especially if you've got a laptop, you could be sitting on the sofa watching a movie with the family or, you know, sitting outside on a beautiful day and doing all your quilting designs uh, remotely from your computer. So now that I have my design selected, again, I can, oh yes, uh, increase or decrease. You know, most of our embroidery designs, we can go up 20%, but in this case, this uh, little butterfly, I can only go up 10%. So it's at 110 instead of 120. So again, you can adjust it if you wish. And then, oh, what I want to do is create like a nesting of these butterflies, a whole family of butterflies. So, oh, I could copy and paste, but instead I'm just gonna corner, boom. How simple, how easy is that? Like click, click, click. So then I can go in and refine them because I just want them to almost kiss, almost nestle together. So isn't that cute? So simple, so easy to do. A couple clicks of the button, boom, there, there's my design. We can go in. So if that's good, again, I'm gonna hit next. We can go in and the cool thing about the AccuFill quilting software, we can save our designs, but we can print them and print templates. So this way we know we get accurate embroidery placement or accurate quilting placement uh, because of these printed templates. So here the little arrow shows like the, the top of my embroidery hoop, for example. And then here I'm going to need to paste these two templates together, but no problem. Uh, that's very easy to do. And then also that prints out is here's the overall dimension of your block. So then it has the size, everything, the number of repeats, uh, everything, all the information you need is there. And then you would print that out. And then the last thing to do is you want to write a design. You would put a, a USB stick in your computer and then save it to that USB stick and then take it to your machine. Oh, Shane is here. Hello. So again, very simple, very easy to do. Ooh, and we'll come back over here to our fabulous Memorycraft 15,000 quilt maker. So once I have the design on a USB stick, oh look there, I insert it into my machine and there is my design ready to quilt. So for our AccuFill quilting hoop, if you have a Memorycraft 15,000 quilt maker, by the way, full instructions in your manual. I even put little tabs here, AccuFill quilting uh, on page 144. Now, again, our manuals have the um, table of contents, but I like putting these little sticky tabs of things to remind me. But here is our fabulous uh, hoop for the Memorycraft 15,000 quilt maker. And then there with that hard acrylic template. So, what I'm going to do, here is the paper that I printed out. Again, that shows me the size of my block. Here is my block that I created in the AccuFill quilting uh, software that I used the rope design and then this cute little design in the middle. And then we would, ooh, I like cutting out my template. And then this is what I mount, making sure my arrow is placed up and that coincides with the arrow that's on our hoop or uh, in their template here. So when I align that all beautifully, that's exact dead center. And then I tape this down with uh, just some painter's tape. So I like uh, cutting around my template and then I paste it to my hard acrylic template. So this is what gives me that perfect embroidery placement or that perfect quilting placement uh, by having this paper template uh, aligned on my um, uh, grid here. So then that uh, again takes all the guesswork out uh, for you. So when we're hooping our fabric though, that we lay all layers together and what I love too, no need for safety pins or anything. So it's really fast and easy. So here is my backing fabric. Here is my batting, whatever kind of batting you want to use. And then there is my uh, top fabric. So all I need to make sure to do 
is that my fabric goes over the edges of the hoop. And then this hard acrylic template is so fabulous because you're going to push down and then this is what's going to allow you, you want your fabric to be again nice and taut, just like it would when you have that inner hoop when you're doing regular embroidery. Uh, so by having this hard acrylic template push down on your fabric and your batting, that's what allows you to get your fabric nice and smooth. And then again, you can still go in and help you know, tweak it. You can refine it. If you've got, you know, stripes to match, for example, you can always just go in and pull your fabric a little bit here just to tweak it exactly the way that you want. So you've got your big strong magnets. And again, no need to worry about using these with your machine. They come uh, with your AccuFill quilting system. So it's perfectly fine to use these magnets uh, to help hold your fabric in place. So I like rolling from like the inside out and then down nice and hard nice and firm uh, when people say oh the magnets sometimes pop off you really need to push down and make sure that the magnets are are making contact with each other and and again they're nice and big so they will go through all of those layers now i like to do one side and then i go right across to the opposite side whatever side you want to start on is is fine uh, but i go directly across again starting from the outside or starting from the inside and I roll to the outside and then that keeps my fabric nice and taut. Now I don't want to pull it too tight and again if you've got stripes something more pronounced you can see oh are you pulling your fabric so instead of uh, going from the inside out maybe you're just going to come like straight down for example with your magnets so if you don't want to pull your fabric again too much so you'll develop your own technique on applying your magnets but the main thing is you want to push down nice and hard so after i do that other side and then i come up to this side and again really quick and simple so this way my fabric is all nice and taut then i'm going to go attach this into my machine before i do I want to remove, this is what these big finger holes are for. We want to remove this hard acrylic template. Believe me, I've heard some horror stories <laughs> by not removing this before we embroider, so or before we quilt. So make sure to remove that. Uh, and then you will attach this in the machine. So you see, everything is so nice and beautiful. Now, when we're done, let's say that this is a whole big quilt. When we're done this section of the quilt, all we need to do, we don't even have to take the hoop uh, we don't even have to uh, disengage the hoop from the embroidery carriage. We don't have to take it out of the machine at all. All we do is take off these clamps, move the quilt over however far we need, and then clamp it back in place. So the embroidery hoop stays on the machine all the time. Ooh, one thing I will do very quickly. I like to, for quilting embroidery of all kind, is... I like switching with the straight stitch needle plate here with the center hole. So I'll just put that in place first. I think I have just enough bobbin thread to do this design. And as usual, time is running past. So let's attach this. So there, it is all attached in place. And then all I have to do is press start. Now, the cool thing is with our AccuFill quilting software, we have the one stitch stop built in, which you don't have to select, but I love selecting it because, oh, look, that raises your bobbin thread. So that way you don't have to go back under your quilt and cut off all those little uh, thread tails. Uh, this way you've got everything uh, attached together. I just hang it up here on my uh, thread holder and then away we go. So once I start getting away from my foot, I can stop and then I go in with my fabulous mini duckling scissors and get in there ooh, right away with those mini duckling scissors so that uh, little duck bill there protects from trimming the, the lower layer. So there is my fabulous AccuFill quilting hoop in action. It's going to stitch out my 
beautiful butterflies there again so quickly uh, the machine says oh in six minutes so isn't that wonderful so yes there in a nutshell is our fabulous Janome AccuFill quilting software Again, I could sit here and uh, watch this stitch all day. I'm sure uh, maybe some of you could too, but maybe don't want to. Uh, but again, if you've got a Memorycraft um, 500E, 550E, 450E, 400E, then you can get a kit like this with your AccuFill quilting hoop and designs, all the software, everything built in. Or if you've got a Memorycraft uh, 12,000, you can get a separate kit just for your machine. Or again, if you've got a Memorycraft 15,000 or 15,000 Quilt Maker, all the versions of the Memorycraft 15,000 uh, have the AccuFill quilting built in because of the uh, Horizon Link Suite software. So I'm just going to stop that. And, ooh, I'm going to spin around and say thank you, everyone, for joining me today. It is absolutely wonderful to see you all. I hope you had a very fun and enjoyable day. And, oh, just a, he a heads up, uh, next week, it's one of those scheduling conflicts again. So I will not be here next week live for another Janome's Magical Machine Mystery Tour, but it's a great time to get caught up on previous episodes that you may have missed. All of them are on the Janome HQ YouTube channel or on the IGTV icon of the Janome HQ. HQ Instagram page so you can uh, go back to review them there and then I will be back uh, the week after next which I think is ooh, about the 28th or something like that uh, I don't know <laughs> the time is just going by way too fast so next week I won't be here live but the following week oh yes I'll be back so thank you everyone for joining me today and have a fabulous day bye <laughs>